Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Marley Tuskis. Michael Burham is back behind bars tonight. The escaped inmate is once again in police custody after he broke out of the Warren County Jail nine days ago. The manhunt finally came to an end without incident just before 6 o'clock this evening. State police say Burham was taken into custody near Logan Road in Conowango Township. Lieutenant Colonel George Bivens says Burham initially tried to run away, but was cornered in the wooded area. Burham escaped from the jail just before midnight on July 6th, and since then, dozens of law enforcement agencies have been combing through the surrounding area in their search. Bivens says it was only a matter of time before the fugitive made a mistake that led to his capture. He came out into the open and was spotted by an individual. It's in the area, one of the portions of the area, that we have been pushing hard. And as I said to you, that's been our strategy all along, is to push him hard, to have him make a mistake. He finally did. Bivens says officials are still determining where Burham will be held once he is arraigned, but that it will not be back at the Warren County Jail. An investigation into whether Burham received any help during his escape is ongoing. Meanwhile, law enforcement officials are thanking a couple living on Jackson Run Road for their role in capturing Michael Burham. Lieutenant George Bivens says it was their tip that led to Burham's path. News 4's Patrick Ryan spoke with the husband and wife, and he joins us live with a story you will only see on 4. Patrick? Marley, Pennsylvania State Police remained confident that Michael Burham would be in the area of Warren after his escape from the county jail. Now, I'm standing in the yard of Ron and Sydney Eklund. It's dark now, as you can see behind me, but was full of activity earlier tonight when that couple came face to face with Burham, calling in the tip that would lead to his capture. They're sharing their story tonight only on News 4. Sitting on their patio just after 4 p.m. this evening when their dog Tucker ran down to the creek that runs along their backyard. Ron and Sydney say Tucker was barking and would not come back from that creek. The pair spotted a man sitting along that same creek who they thought initially was a fisherman. Ron and Sydney got into their golf cart and headed to the creek to see who was on their property. That person turned out to be suspected rapist and killer Michael Burham. The couple who say they were terrified briefly spoke with Burham before taking off for their house and dialing 911. And she said to me, and it was a joke, when we first headed down, she says, do you want to take a gun? I said, no, I don't need a gun. He's long gone. It's a fisherman. It's a fisherman. And we go down there and this gentleman stands up and I said, what are you doing down here? And he says, I'm camping. No, it was Michael Burham. Yeah, and, and so yes. So we were very adamant when we were calling 911 that no, you need to be here. Ron and Sydney say Burham had a backpack with him and started to walk down the creek and back into the woods. They say the real hero in all of this is their chocolate lab Tucker who tipped them off. And Marley, Ron and Sydney tell me tonight they cannot thank law enforcement enough for putting this man back behind bars. As for Tucker, I'm told he has a big steak dinner in his future. We'll have much more on this coming up tonight on News 4 at 11. For now, reporting live, I'm Patrick Ryan.